All right, Jason. You got five hours before trick-or-treaters start showing up. It's time to raise your game, okay? Now, these kids expect the perfect greeting before they get their candy. And practice makes perfect. Let's do this. Happy Halloween! What the heck was that? Come on, man, just act like a normal human being. Greetings, children. Would you like a candy, please? Oh, come on, man, that's way too creepy. Wait, I need a costume. Yeah. There are two types of people in this world. Those who like almond joys and those who have functional taste buds. Savvy? Mmm, good. Take the candy. Give in to the dark chocolate side of the force. <sighs> what am I doing? Palpatine doesn't work. I gotta do something more kid-friendly. What kind of candy were you expecting, Buzz? Woody, Jesse, my Pop Rocks are pure. They will take you to infinity and beyond. You kids got a good life in this hood. You got a good life. I know, because I'm Prison Mike and Ike. Prison Mike and Ike. Oh my, uh, a tiny ghost. Yes, yes, very good. Very, um, very frightening. Yes, boo, spooky. Yes, yes. Uh, Snickers, why don't you grab one? Because when you're hungry, why wait? <sighs> it's not the crunchy caramel center underneath, but the milk chocolatey goodness that surrounds you. Caramel! Wow, your guys' costumes are incredible. I mean, they're fantastic. I mean, we got a cow and a farmer who likes to plow and Lightning McQueen. ka -chow. Yeah, wow. Looky here, it's some trick-or-treaties. Now open up your bags and have some diabetes. There's some for you and you and Cindy Lou. Woohoo! You think I'm afraid of trick-or-treaters? I am the one who tricks. I am the one who treats. You want to know how I got these scores? I went to the grocery store. A spooky ghost indeed, yes, yes, yes. Because the afterlife finds a way. If I keep eating these sweets, I'll be known as the Clark Bar Knight, the Baked Goods Crusader, the Obese Guardian, Fat Man. There's no candy in the clink. We only get toothbrushes that we make in the shivs, and then we shank them, people. We shank them. Because we got a good life. I guess what I've got? I've got a jar of nerds. I've got a jar of nerds. I've got a jar of nerds. Most impressive. I can feel the bottle caps fizzing within you. What's happening? When what happened then? Well, because of the sugar consumption, they say, the Grinch's small heart suffered three heart attacks that day. Oh! Max! Fetch me my defibrillator! <laughs> I'm not feeling unlimited sour. Patch kids. And a robber on the prowl, and a bride who takes a vow, and a stockbroker on the dow. That deserves a now and later. Dang it, this is stupid! Well, well, well. Where have you been, young man? Dad, um, I was just... You were out with those church friends again of yours, weren't you? Yes. How dare you tell the truth to my face? I knew those kids would be a good influence on you. I'm sorry, I thought it wouldn't be a... Hang on, did you just apologize? You better watch yourself, bucko. I don't like this humble attitude you've got. Okay, Dad. Don't you take that sincere tone with me. Now tell me, what were you kids doing tonight, huh? Were you... Attending a worship service? No. Are you lying to me? Yeah. Good. How many prayers did you do? I don't know. It was all a blur. I... And uh, were people singing worship songs? 
<laughs> They're called hymns, Dad. I don't care what the kids are calling it these days. Did you sing praises to a higher power? Yes, I sang praises. Don't you not raise your voice when you're talking to me! Yes, I sang praises! Mm-hmm. And what were the kids passing around, huh? Bibles? Torahs? Korans? I don't know, one of the other guys might have had one. Was there a Bible? Yes! And I read from it twice! I don't even know you anymore! You come home well before curfew, I might add, and confess to these absolutely wholesome, righteous actions. What about you, huh? When was the last time you did something bad? Don't try to turn this on me. You know good and well I lead people into darkness every day. Every day! I'm not perfect at it, but not being perfect is also kind of the goal. <sighs> Dad, I just want to live my life! You want agency now? Freedom from bondage and oppression? You are tearing this family apart! So at least you're doing one thing I approve of. I'm just so tired of being bad all the time. I want to see what else is out there. You want to know what's out there? A life of joy and happiness. Is that what you want? Maybe. Fine, then go. But don't come crawling back here when you realize you've become a delightful person. Fine. I hate this darn place anyway. You watch your mouth. We swear in this house. Goodbye forever. Good riddance. <sighs> At least he left on bad terms. I'm sorry I got upset. No! Come to Nightmare on 13th and make your nightmares a reality. Nightmares become reality. Free admission if you kill one of the rodents terrorizing Floor 7. Located next to Sandwich Andy Sandwich World. Cut. Awesome. Looks like we got it, Mr. Nightmare. Thank you so much for your services. They will not go unnoticed. Uh, because we're getting paid, yes? That's the notice you're referring to? To which you are referring, you mean. Excuse me? You ended your sentence in a preposition. Zona just got zoned, y'all. I'm so glad I skipped indoor bungee jumping for this. Your job? Yeah, I know, right? Who knew it'd be worth it? Be that as it may, Mr. Nightmare, um, every time I've approached you about payment, you've avoided me? But we've filmed the commercial now, and before we go any farther... Further. Metaphorical distance. I was about to correct myself. I'm just frustrated. <laughs> Tell you what. If you can survive the scariest floor of Nightmare on 13th, then I will pay you in full. In full? That's amazing. No, Ryan. It's standard business practice. I could finally get that lemur vest I've been eyeing. You wear lemur fur? No, it's a vest for lemurs. Wait, are you not going to pay us if we don't make it through your house? Isn't that what you agreed to when you signed these? What is that? It's a waiver, Micah. You signed it. Uh, girl, I signed a lot of things. See? You took advantage of us as millennials. You know we have a predisposition to not read contracts. Uh, speak for yourself, okay? Reading contracts is my favorite part of the job. Ooh, a restrictive covenant. You need a boyfriend. Don't change the subject, okay? I poured over those contracts last night, and there was no mention of us needing to complete this house in order to qualify for payment. Did you read Addendum 3, which I added this morning? Oh, because your signature indicates all that you did. Oh, okay, fine. Man, this is gonna be so lame. Micah, there are people on stilts. Have you ever been to a house that's actually haunted? Now that's terrifying. One time I went to this abandoned mental hospital and I heard a voice that whispered, you're fat. And it was right! Ooh. Mm -mm. No. Guys, I don't know about this. I get terror acne and I literally just ran out of concealer. You all must experience the circus berserkers without going mad! and then you will get paid. Did he just say circus? Cause that's no bueno. That's no bueno, bueno, no. Ugh, if I wasn't poor, I'd say no. If I weren't poor, subjunctive move! What is happening to me?
right, guys, let's just get through this house so we can go home and finally get some real work done. I go home to stop working. Well, we work at home, so you're literally sleeping on the job. Man, Zona, maybe a boyfriend would mellow you out. I had a boyfriend once. I didn't like it. Hey, how crazy do we think this is going to be? Because that clown is literally just Snapchatting and it's terrifying. Ooh, this feels like a blind zit. It's happening! Hello. Man, this is nothing. Ooh, once I went to this abandoned orphanage where they had a message written in blood. It said, you're fat. Do you think this place is based off of our actual nightmares? Is there a Roomba that follows you into the bathroom and watches you do your business? I got a bad feeling about this. But you're not afraid of anything, Devin. You don't understand. I used to work in the circus, and it messed me up good. What did you do? Tightrope? Lion taming? I ate raw meat while people guessed my credit score. 720! Ah! Ah! I can't be held responsible for what I do in there, okay? If I even get a whiff of peanuts or popcorn, my adrenaline kicks in, and I don't fight or flight. I smite. I ignite. I get an appetite. Did you just come up with those rhymes on the spot? That's right. Can you stop by the gift shop on your way out? Enter if you dare. Ah. <laughs> you like 14? I... next month. <laughs> okay. Uh, Welcome to the Circus Berserkus. Enter if you dare. <laughs> Two can play this game, poor chap. Okay, so this is stupid and not scary at all, but maybe just stick it through this quickly and as zit free as possible, we just stick together. Where's Devin? She did! Okay. She did! Owen, Owen, calm down, okay? I will stay with you and then we can just totally. <laughs> Take her! Her cats can feed us while family! Hey! No! <laughs> Shall we go over the contingency clause? I could better go in the dark bubble fight right now. Those are all my favorite words. I know, right? Uh, okay, slow down. Jeez. Oh, it's supposed to be like a crazy party, man. They're playing Megan Trainer music backwards. Backwards? Yeah. Apparently, it makes the songs actually empowering to women. So. Uh, well, we can still try to have fun here. Uh, no. Oh, hello. Want to pull a scary prank? Isn't this whole place kind of one big scary prank? <laughs> Let's show these teens how to really scare someone, yeah? How? You're just a commoner like the rest of us. I misspoke my leash. Yeah, come on! <laughs> okay, right. He's just so Eyes ahead. I need three bodies on all sides at all times. Oh! Oh, children, save me with your youthful skin! Oh! Oh! I dropped my inhaler! Just leave it! Did you get it? I think so. Oh, it's so perfect. Rookie mistake, oh. kid. What? Grabbing people. Going for that extra scare. Oh, you'll have fun at first. We all have fun at first, but eventually, topsy turvy. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were someone else. It's you. You don't have to act tough with me. I see the real you. You 
can run, but you can't hide from your feelings! Warlock, are you ready to scare the peanuts off this next victim? Mm, I'm just so excited and claustrophobic, but mostly excited. Oh yeah, here they come! You're mine! We play in street rules, Ponzo! Oh! Ah! Oh! oh! Ryan, are you okay? Insides feel topsy turvy. <gasps> topsy turvy. No, 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 no! Oh, oh, I thought you'd be gone. She can't see you if you don't move. I, I, I can see you pretty clearly. Oh, okay. Uh, well. Oh, well. Shh. Go away. Go. This is mutiny. Does anybody have a Neutrogena skin clearing blemish stick? Wow! <laughs> Preferably in the color buff! Old man with bumpy skin. Hey. This is where we leave you. What? No, I need you guys. You're too annoying. A group of tweens thinks you're too annoying. But am I? Shh. Guys, no, don't leave me. Emma, Autumn, Tim, Tim, look at me. Don't walk away from me. I can't do this without you guys. Woo. Foundation. <laughs> okay, buddy, come on, let's go. Just leave me. No, 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 don't you dare give up on me. Come on, let's go. Tell my grandma that I'm sorry I grimaced before massaging her bunions. You're gonna tell those bunions yourself. Come on. What do you want? We tried that, remember? It'll never work. The chainsaw will always come first. You do that? For me? Oh look, a hall of mirrors. How spooky. Micah, I desperately need ice and eggs, but that's more to remind myself from my shopping list. Well, let's just make it through this scary hall of mirrors. <laughs> oh no, you didn't! Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Micah! Ah, ah, Stop! There's no one else here! Think again. Ah, 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 ah. Calm yourself, Micah! My bird bones can't take much more! Devin? Devin? Oh, 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 Devin, it's me! I'm your friend! Can you say friend? Friend. Ryan. Clever girl. <laughs> I've done things. Unspeakable things. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay, Queen. It's been a night for all of us. <laughs> oh, so you made it through. What did you think? That was legit the scariest night I can remember. <laughs> you really think so? I can't even talk about it. I'm sorry for what you'll find in there. What did you do? What? Did you go berserkus on my circus? What a jerk is. Jonathan, get the 409! Owen. Oh, hey, girl. 
Wow, oh my gosh, I have an appointment tomorrow that I need to get ready for right now. She'll be back. Still got it. Still got it. So, uh, why don't we pick up where we left off? Man, Boy Scout fundraiser pitches are getting weirder and weirder. No, it's, it's me. Ooh. Chainsaw Man? Hey. But your arms, you, you had man arms. People see what they want to see in the circus berserkus. No, 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 oh, I'm going to jail. But don't you want my phone number? No, 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 we've never met. You are a boy, a child. You, you probably don't know anything about contract lingo. Well, if you just enact due diligence, I'm sure you'll find there's little liability in this joint venture. Oh, oh, I need a boyfriend. Your payment in full. Thank you, Mr. Nightmare. Well done. Me and my team are very impressed. My team and I, you mean? <gasps> You are this tonight. We arrived here and we found it like this. I've seen a lot of sick stuff in my day. This takes the cake. Uncooked ribeye. Do you know what these numbers mean? It's the mark of the beast, my boy. Look. 720. There's a pattern. There's green, Officer. and then it alternates to pink. What is this? This zero is bigger than this one. What, is, what are these numbers? No! What no, are these, these numbers? What are these numbers mean? What are these numbers mean? You're under arrest. Hello, Professor. Merlin's beard, Mr. Potter. Don't sneak up on me like that, and don't make me take away your invisibility cloak. I wasn't wearing my cloak. I'm just short and somewhat forgettable. What do you want? I saw you trying to hide your dark mark. No, I wasn't. I mean, no, I don't have one. Obliviate! You're not holding a wand, and clearly you've something to hide. I do not. I think you're working for the Dark Lord. Ha! That's nonsense. I'm Snape, the lovable curmudgeon. I have no business with the Dark Lord. I don't believe you. You don't have to believe me. Ask anyone. Ah, I hear someone now, so I'll just go talk to them and then they'll come out. So you just stay there. Ugh, confounded polyjuice potion. Tastes like feet. Hello, Mr. Potter. It's me, Miss Granger, your girlfriend. No. I was joking. Obliviate. You're still not holding a wand, Professor. And you're still wearing the same robes. I'm not a professor. I'm just a student who knows for a fact that Professor Snape is a wizard of the highest regard. Hmm. Well, tell Professor Snape that I'm even more convinced that he's working for the Dark Lord. Ten points from... I'll be right back. I love you. You're still talking like yourself, by the way. Okay, Snape. You can do it. Snapey boy, just gonna have to use this hair I found in the loo. Hello, Harry. Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? Are you Moaning Myrtle? I am. I've come back to life. And I'm your girlfriend? No. Do you date? That is not your concern. Now drop this axe, Snape. S Snape? No, I'm Megan. Myrtle. Uh, that's what I said. Um, you know, I actually think I hear a very good character witness coming right now. <laughs> How did Snape do Myrtle's voice so well? Harry Potter. You think Voldemort is going to convince me you're not evil? Who's evil? Definitely not Snape. 
I haven't spoken to him since before I died, years ago. How many years? Four? Four years? No, eight. Eight? How old are you? Fifteen. It's been fifteen long years. And he looks just as good now as he did back then. If you haven't seen each other in years, how do you know what he looks like now? Harry, it's me, a trustable student, and a boy this time. Uh, you're me. Yeah, I'm you from the future. Oh yeah? Then who do I marry? No one at the rate you're going. You're one to talk. Anyway, I have important news. Snape is working for the Dark Lord. He is? I mean he isn't. You mean he isn't. I'm not. Not you, you. Me, you. Me isn't. Ah! Obliviate! Red and off, off you go. I'm just shoo shoo. It's a close one. Well done, Severus. But to be honest, I am also concerned you are a double agent. What? No. Obliviate! Where did my wand go? Dustin isn't coming? No, he said he's gotta do something with Steve. Steve, he's always with Steve. Yeah, I'm not your personal chauffeur, yes, okay? You are, Mom said you have to drive me. Uh-oh, looks like Max is in you trouble. Know, you know my car gets horrible gas get mileage. Get a job! You get a job, you stop being such an idiot! Hey, hey, don't walk away! Hey, how did you do that? I don't understand! It's so awesome having you in school with us, Elle. <laughs> oh, your nose is bleeding. Don't worry, that's just what happens when she uses a lot of brain power. I know that. Well, I'm just reminding you. Thanks, Elle. You're welcome. Your brother's a jerk. I know, he's getting worse. I can't wait till he moves out. Whoa, Elle, your nose is bleeding again. Oh yeah, what did you do? Nothing, just math. Oh, I totally get it. Geometry has been crazy hard this year, but I'm sure a smart girl like you can probably... Wait, is this hard for you? No, easy. Well, then what's the answer? It's 20. Two, zero. That is not a two. That's a candy cane. Ease up, Lucas. Maybe math just isn't her subject. Here, Elle, what do you think of this poem? Pretty. <gasps> Eleven. You look pale. You need some food. Waffle? No, this is a granola bar. Waffle? No. Please don't. Don't you say it. Eleven. Don't you know good and well? Waffle. Oh. You're making me look like a fool. Eleven, are you stupid? She's not stupid. Yeah. Just give her a second. It's not a twist top. Five Mr. T? Five. See, she did that without even straining. But she's just covering her face again. No. <gasps> oh. What is wrong with you, girl? Stop being such a jerk, Lucas. Yeah, I'm not the one dating a girl with a four-year-old's brain, you nasty. Hey, everything okay? What you guys doing here after school? We're good, Mr. Clark, just study group. What are you working on, Mr. Clark? Oh, it's a Sudoku. It's a tough one. I'll do it. Oh, are you okay? Eleven, no. You can't handle it! Put 12 there. Oh, uh, Sudoku only uses one through nine. Color that square in. Huh? That's not a thing. L, stop it. Spell cat there! What? K. Close. A. 11! Upside down Spanish question mark! My girlfriend's Latina. <laughs> See, she's not stupid. She did that with her mind. That was pretty epic. 
Bye, Mr. Clark. See you in the Upside Down. Come down to Miriam the Medium Psychic Shop to learn your fortune, your future, and your fate. Cut. Looks great. Let's break for lunch. Oh, wait, no, let's keep going. I can only afford to pay you for another hour. What? No, we've got five more hours to go. The script you gave us is very complicated. Yeah, we've only filmed one of the seven seances. Guys, I heard a ghost in the mic and I think it was trying to tell me something. That was me. I was trying to tell you that your fly was down. It still is. Oh, well, that's a very conscious style choice. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just don't have the money. Then we can't help you. You do not want to cross me, young freelance film people. If you can't pay us, we're leaving. Oh wait, no, I have something for you. It better be money. Or a puppy. No, two puppies? No, a really cool pencil? I, Miriam, with all the power in this clutch, curse you! Oh! Are you serious? I curse you! Is this powdered sugar? I curse you! Oh, I don't want no curse! Do I have cancer? Is that a lump? I, I don't know. That's my bicep. Okay. Oh, wait, hold up. Nope. That's a cheese it oh. Get out! Okay, we need a snake, a cauldron, and two small people with big heads. What? What are we gonna do about the curse? We're not cursed. Zona's right. Thanks to my new boyfriend, ClickFunnels, I set up our website and we have our first online client. We're the opposite of cursed. We're first. Who's the client? Our favorite restaurant. Big Harry's Pancake House? I love that place! I've had four birthday parties there in the last year. Okay, awesome. So Owen and I, we'll go talk to Big Harry. Nice job, Devin. Maybe we should spend money advertising so more people will see the website. Don't we only have $100? For advertising or like for the whole company? Yes. Okay, you know what, it's fine. You gotta spend money to make money. So Devin, you take care of that. And Ryan, you make sure Micah doesn't freak out about the curse. I won't let him out of my sight. He's gone and I have failed you. Hot sugar loops. Okay, I am cursed. But I better gotta stay positive. And at least the weather's good. Uh, well, at least I have my wallet. And this is no, no, no! Well, at least I still have an Arby's coupon I saved. <laughs> oh, better read the fine print. Oh, 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 what? Oh, my glasses. How did I step on them? I, okay, at least I have my last pair of clean clothes. <sighs> I'm wearing a cotton polyester blend! My point still stands! Ah! Are they ever closed? I don't know. There's... It's so dark. You try calling them? Got them on speed dial. Can I help you? Hi, uh, Big Harry? Big Harry's my father. I'm Little Harry. Um, is Big Harry here? You haven't heard? Heard what? Big Harry's dead. What? Please think he was taken out by a rival pancake house. His secret recipe is missing. My pancakes. My birthdays. Oh, his dad just died. No! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Pete. What do we do? Just get up. What do we do? You can go to IHOP. IHOP! Don't touch me! There All right, spend money to make money. One hundred point zero zero dollars. Go forth, young website, and bring us fortune. Hmm. Huh. It would seem that I have ruined our lives. What did you say? Nothing. I'm just going to go to my screaming place for a second.
I'm sure that's fine. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Lollipop. Thank you. And no thank you. Oh, oh Lollipop. I shall name you Petunia. And then, you know what she said? What? I hop. That's, of all places right that's now. That's bad. I hope things don't get worse for you. You order a McGriddle like- I'm every cursed! <laughs> Me too. Yeah, we're all cursed. Big Harry got murdered. Murdered. I, too, have encountered some misfortune. See, Zona? Cursed! No, just because something bad happened when something good was going to happen doesn't mean it's because of the curse that happened between those things. A pretty clear sequence of events. But it's a good curse, like on Sleeping Beauty. No, 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 there are no good curses. And that movie isn't real. Agree to disagree. No, we're cursed! Just do the math or science or whatever. I don't know, I failed that in high school. Aren't you in charge of our accounting? No, I thought you were. Micah? It doesn't matter, okay? I spent all our money and all our future money. Does anyone have a kidney we could sell? I'd offer mine, but Mama already played that card. Micah? Ryan? Gallbladder? Spleen? Mm -hmm. It could be any of those. No. Part of a liver? You, you can grow the rest of it. It's fine. It's like $100. It's not that much money. Apparently credit cards let you spend money that you don't have. This is why I prefer the barter system, to be fair. How much did you- Ten thousand dollars. On the bright side, the website company sent us all these free t-shirts. Okay. Silver lining. I ordered all child smalls. Devin, you ruin everything! There are so many, I will literally never have to buy clothes again. And a cotton poly blend, please and thank you. Forget the shirts, Ryan! We are on the hook for $10,000! Devin, how did this happen? This isn't Devin's fault, it's the curse! Oh, I'm pretty sure this one's on Devin. Let the man speak, Zona. All right, the only way to fix this is to go back and talk to Miriam. Devin, try to cancel the order. Yeah, or at least get click funnels to send some adult sizes. A little big, but they'll shrink in the wash. To Miriam! Got a bone to pick with you. Bone picking is thirty dollars. Oh, it's you. Lift the curse. There's no curse. My life is the same. Yeah, your curse was your personality. Hey. Please lift the curse, especially on Zona, and we'll finish your ad for free. I'm sorry, but my nephew's fourth grade class already filmed it, and it was amazing. This is stupid. Well, excuse me. You think you cursed me? Well, I curse you. Ha! You cursed. Yeah, I curse you too. Bam. You can't do that! I curse your business! I curse your love life! And I curse you with good luck, you're gonna find $20! Miriam's a dumb name! That's what the fourth graders said. Curse! 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 I think we handled that well. Yes, we did. Great news, guys. Our website is blowing up. Turns out that spending money on advertising is a good business practice. So we're rolling in clients! Yeah! Oh. Guys, see? No curse! Uh. How many people signed up? Initially, 400. 400? Devin, we only do like two projects a month and we can barely keep up with that. So, this is a bad thing. It's a very bad thing. See, I wish that we'd talked sooner because I thought it was a good thing so I doubled down and spent more money on advertising. You spent more money that we don't have? How much? Do you... I don't want to tell you. $10,000. Devin! The credit card has a power over me. I can't resist it. Siren song. Okay, you said initially 400 clients. How many do we have now? 800? <laughs> 801. Oh. Okay, maybe we are cursed. Here, try those tears. Devin, just shut down the website. We're not equipped to handle success. True words have never been spoken. Sorry, I was watching Family Matters. Urkel's got it bad for Laura. Oh, we yeah. are. Well, the curse thickens. My molar just fell out. 
And I swallowed it. Well, I have a rash on my back that's shaped like a swastika. Well, at least Devin took down the website. It pained me greatly, but I did. I did. I did not. We're definitely cursed. Yeah, but a good curse. <gasps> Pina colada. Thank you. Tell the people! Oh! Oh! Get out of here! Oh, no, please, listen. All of your curses have come true. I am now single, unemployed, and $20 richer. I would like everyone but the man-child to remove their curse. No one's ever called me a man. We accept. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> then I lift my curse. <laughs> I, I lift my curse. <sighs> Thank you. And goodbye forever. <coughs> my truth is back! No, my rash is gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. <gasps> you guys! Someone wants to buy our website plus all our clients for $20,000.99! We made a profit! Where are my suckers? Where's Petunia? Look at those 99 big ones. She had the hundred. Uh huh. And then you spent 10. I, I spent ten thousand dollars. No, guys. I spent a oh, Is he sad about that haunted demon doll? Hmm. That's troubling. Petunia. My father for nothing! What did you just say? Stupid curse! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>